Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be installing the Cooking for Blockheads mod. This is a really cool mod because it adds functional kitchens to Minecraft, which is something, you know, other furniture mods out there add kitchens to Minecraft. This one makes them functional. As you can see, you can actually use uh, the book or cooking table to find out where you can cook and what ingredients you can cook with and all of that stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, if we go into the images here, we can kind of see some previews of this mod. So you can see the available foods that you can cook here, more available foods that you can cook, grilled asparagus, for example, and even alternative recipes. There's also recipe sorting, so you can sort all of that out, and that's all with the cookbook, which can be crafted by smelting a book in the furnace. And then you can also get a tier two crafting by cra or not crafting, but tier two recipe book by crafting it like that. And then uh, on top of that, you can see some of the kitchen layouts here. I know some of you won't even care about the cooking part; you'll just think it's cool that you can actually have a cool looking kitchen. And there is an example of that. Obviously, you can get different colored fridges, different color, you know, uh, whatever that is, probably like a pantry cabinet sort of a thing, and even different colored like cabinets and stuff. So it, it's really really cool. All the different stuff that you can add in here, and you can see you can change the different colors by changing this right here, right? That's going to be a different color, all that stuff. So overall, really, really cool. We're going to be checking this mod out. But first though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Just at your very own 24-hour DDoS protected in Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. But today we're installing Cooking for Blockheads, so let's go ahead and do it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official Cooking for Blockheads download page page, and once you're here, come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. Under that, you'll see Cooking for Blockheads 1.16.x. Go ahead and click on the orange 1.16, you know, download button there next to that 1.16 version. Oddly enough, this works in all of the 1.16 versions with one mod, including 1.16.5, so pretty cool on the Cooking for Blockheads guys for putting all that together there. Nevertheless, as you can see in the bottom left, we do have the Cooking for Blockheads mod downloaded. We will need to keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left. On Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the server screen where you'll need to save the file. Finally, we can go ahead and move over to downloading Forge. Forge is required because it's like the mod loader that basically makes Cooking for Blockheads actually work in Minecraft. So anyway, this can be found at the third link down below. That will take you here where you want to scroll down until you see this green download Forge button. Now, this is our text tutorial for Forge. If you have any issues, this can really help you out as it goes a little more in depth than we will in this video. But nevertheless, click on this green Download Forge button, which will take you to the website where you want to make sure it says MC 1.16.5 here. It doesn't, as you can see. To get it to say that, I'm going to come over to the left-hand side and click on 1.16.5. You may need to put plus 1.16, by the way, to see 1.16.5. But nevertheless, once you do that, it'll say MC 1.16.5 here. And all I want to do is come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. Then it's going to go ahead, take us off to Add Focus, where stop, do not click anything on this page. Do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever. Like, not a single thing on this page whatsoever. The only thing you want to do is click the red skip button in the top right, which will take about 10 seconds to appear. So, go to this page, wait 10 seconds, and then a red skip button will appear in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, in the bottom left, Forge will download. As you can see, Forge 1.16.5 downloads in the bottom left. You want to go ahead and make sure you keep that file in the bottom left, or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Again, as long as it has Forge in the title, you are safe to do that. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have Cooking for Blockheads, and we have Forge. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge, but if these aren't on your desktop, where are they? Well, they're in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here you will find Cooking for Blackheads and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and close out of that, and we can start off with Forge. Now, if your Java icons aren't like my Java icons, they look different. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that here in a second, but first, let's see if you can open up Forge. To do that, go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. If you don't have Java here, here's what you do. Go to the description down below and download Java. This is our in-depth guide for downloading Java for Minecraft mods, and guess what? Game for Blockheads is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java. goes through everything that you need to know here, step by step. However, if you're still having issues after you download this, or your Java files, still look weird, go ahead and check out the jar fix right here as well. Truly amazing sort of little program, not really, but little like fix that you can run that makes your jar files link back to Java, thus fixing your logos here and making things look better. Let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now then open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. Now at this point, the only reason Forge wouldn't install is if you've never played 1.16.5 Minecraft without any mods. So if that's the case, you need to go play Minecraft 1.16.5 vanilla, no mods or anything, literally just open it up. And yes, Optifine counts as a mod, so you want to go make sure, play it with no Optifine, no mods, no anything, just vanilla Minecraft 1.16.5, and then come back and Forge will install. We can go and click on the OK button here, once it is done that, and it will close out of that. We can now delete Forge from our desktop, it's time to get cooking for Blockheads installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. 
And then from the Minecraft launcher here, we just want to come down here to the bottom left, click on this little uh, this little arrow right here, and then click on Forge. Now, as long as it says 1.16.5-Forge under it, you're going to click Play. But if it doesn't say 1.16.5-Forge, or you don't have Forge here at all, here's what you do. Come here to the Installations tab, and first, on the right-hand side, there's this little Modded button. You see this little Modded area? If this is unchecked, Forge disappears. It's not there, and guess what? It won't even be over here. Once we deselect it, it won't even appear here, right? So if we go into Installations, we need to click on this Modded button to make Forge appear. In most cases, that's going to fix it for you, and as long as it says 1.16.5-Forge under it, you can click Play. But if it doesn't say 1.16.5-Forge, or Forge just doesn't appear even when the Modded tab is selected, you want to go ahead and click on this plus New button. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.5 Greek Protected Medieval Survival, 30 Custom Quest. It's truly amazing. And then we have Aquatic Survival with a Slash Shop based economy. Great survival there. And then we have Custom Skyblock with amazing challenges, a storyline, custom generators. It's truly amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, we want to go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And when we do that, we want to make sure we select release 1.16.5-Forge. Mine's up here right at the top. You may have to scroll down even all the way to the bottom to find yours, but in here you will find release 1.16.5-Forge. Click on that. I'm going to change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but we're making a video, so I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. And then finally, we can click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, and under that we have 1.16.5-Forge. We can hover over that and click the green play button. It's going to go ahead and open up this, like, warning. You know what you're doing. It's all good. You're doing it with this video, so you really know what you're doing, and we've tested everything. It is all good to go. So let's go ahead and click the green play button. Now it's going to open up Minecraft right like so, and I will see you basically after a quick jump cut, because, you know, there's no reason to go through this process. It's just going to take it a second to open up Forge. As you can see, Forge is doing its early loading process, and then eventually the Minecraft, you know, main, like, not main menu, but the actual Minecraft loading screen, right like so, will pop up, and then it's going to take you to the Minecraft main menu. So, I will see you once it gets there. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now we want to go ahead and navigate to this mods tab here. So again, go to this mods tab and just click on it, right? It's going to open up the mods page where we really want to click on open mods folder in the bottom right. When we do that, it's going to open up our mods folder and all we need to do to install cooking for blockheads is drag and drop it from our desktop into this mods folder. Now if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here, right? It's never going to appear here until we click done and then quit out of Minecraft. The good news is though that you don't have to go and do a bunch of crazy stuff this time. All you have to do in order to get cooking for blockheads working is to make sure that Forge profile or the profile you created is selected. Again, 1.16.5-Forge, and you're good to go. Click on Play. You don't have to agree to that thing from Mojang this time. It's just going to launch right on up, which is great. And now, Cooking for Blockheads is going to be installed. You actually see it right there, Cooking for Blockheads. Right there it is. We'll confirm that on the main menu in the Mods tab. And then we're going to jump in game, and I'm not going to go in-depth with the Cooking for Blockheads, but I'm going to show you some of the basics once we do get in-game. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and just let this open up again. It's going to be the same exact open process as before, even though it might take a hair longer because now you do have a mod installed, but I'll meet you on the main menu. And there we go. We are now on the Minecraft main menu where we can click on the mods tab and see cooking for blockheads. That means it is installed, but to really check it out, we can go ahead and create a new world cooking for blockheads. That's what we'll name this. And I'm going to make it creative. You don't have to make it creative, but I'm making it creative just so we can test it better and then create the world. I'll see you once the world is generated. So here we are in our Minecraft world. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find like a good spot for testing. This island out here looks pretty good. For those of you that want the seed, there it is. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this tested on up. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and click over and see the Cooking for Blockheads mod. Now, one thing I want to go ahead and do is grab this uh, recipe book. I'm going to go the advanced one straight from the beginning and you can see the different stuff. Now, the reason is we don't have any ingredients, so let's go ahead and grab some of those ingredients as well. Uh, ingredients being, by the way, like different food items and stuff like that. So let's see, right here, if we go ahead and grab, I'm sure maybe, I don't know, some, some bread, some stew, and some fish, and pumpkin pies, and different things like that, and maybe even some, some crops. Um, melons is probably involved, but I'm actually looking for more of crops than I am. Um, you know, hold on, let me let me go ahead and grab like some some some, I don't know, I'm thinking of like, wheat and also maybe some sugar and I'm sure something here is going to have some sort of recipe yes we can make bread from the wheat right so that's pretty cool and as we get more and more ingredients and different ingredients there you'll be able to make more and more stuff from the recipe book if we go ahead and go over here we will be able to see cooking for blockheads now this is a kitchen floor tile it looks a bit interesting to me but it is still a cool custom block so for example you can make a kitchen floor out of this right here right like so if you wanted to I've actually seen kitchens like 
from from like the 50s, <laughs> that sort of tile. But nevertheless, and then we can go ahead and add in things like a cooking table, which I believe, if we click on it, yes, is exactly like a uh, recipe book, but in a table sort of format. Um, there is other stuff here as well. Like I said, you do have fridges. And if we go ahead and place this down, I believe we can do two blocks and it will become a two block fridge. And then maybe even, will those join together? No, can you make it three blocks high? I've got to know. I've got to know if you can, no, you can't. Okay, so there is a full fridge and you can actually store things in there, which is pretty cool. And then we do have as well, like a toaster, right? So we wanted to go ahead and place down a kitchen cabinet, right? Like so, and you can craft these and change these colors by the way, but I'm not gonna do that. Like I can just grab them creative real fast with this color. And you can see the toaster is there. And then we do have things like spice racks, which you can stack things on. So if we go ahead and place this on, we'll just place this on this wall. I believe we can go ahead and yes, stack things on the spice rack, put that on the shelf put that there. And as you can see, it is stacking things up there, right? Like so, even put the kitchen cabinet. It's a little weird, but you get the point. Uh, something that you could see going up there is like stew and sweet berries, for example. So pretty cool stuff. You can actually use those shelves. And that's what's cool about this. All of these blocks are in some way functional. So we do have the milk as well here that we can put like right here, for example. And I believe you can actually put milk in this. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's grab some milk here and see if we can put some milk in here. Yes, and you can actually fill this up full of milk and get it back out with a bucket as well. So I believe if we grab a normal bucket, we'll be able to get the milk back out of that. Yep, and that's probably spamming our inventory. No, okay, it's just because we're in creative, not spamming our inventory, but you get the point. You can make a milk jar as well. So it's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of cool different things with just these few blocks. So hanging kitchen counter, I'm curious what this is. So is this gonna be like able to, yeah, so those connect and look pretty cool there. But uh, yeah, that's that. That's how you can create a kitchen and kind of the basics of a kitchen at the very least. But uh, nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Oh, look at that. Those connect beautifully. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. Again, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.